Hello everyone. Um, I would just firstly like to apologize that it's not a live stream this morning. This is a video that I had to put up to premiere this time. I'll be using the page Ashrai, coloring this background. I'll take it. Firstly, I would like to show you what we'll be doing today. We will. I will show you how to color the moon, the clouds, and get different shading where the light falls, where the moon touches the clouds. And general shading, not too difficult, it is ideal for beginners. I've used grey Strathmore paper. Let's go on to the colours. I've used Prisma Premier Pencils, white, sky blue light, Mediterranean blue, 90% cool grey, periwinkle, indigo blue, eggshell, slate grey, 70% cool grey, light cerulean blue, and peacock blue. I'm a bit nervous, as you all can see. Let's just get it straight. There we go. We'll take white. Then you can decide where you want the moon to be. And I've decided in this left hand corner, you draw roughly a circle. It doesn't have to be too precise. Then you lay in where your clouds is going to be. Press fairly hard, medium pressure, not too hard or too light. Just so that you can see. Um, using the grey toned paper, you can see the white better than on the white. Then maybe I would suggest use the cream or an eggshell. To divide your page on where the horizon horizon would be, uh, it's never in the middle. You always take it slightly to the top or to the bottom. Ideally, to work out focus point, you divide your page two lines across, two lines across, and where the lines meet, the four dots, that should be your focal points. So I'm going slightly higher than the middle of the page and I've drawn my line with the 90% cool grey. This is the cool grey. Oops, I need to sharpen it again. I think the pencil just keeps on breaking. It's probably also nervous. Excuse the grammar and the tenses. English is my second language. I'm actually Afrikaans speaking here in South Africa. Okay, we need to sharpen it again. Now I've decided to go slightly wider toward the side of the page and narrow it towards the fairy in the middle to draw your eye into the main object of the page. So just fill in, doesn't need to be too precise. I'm going to start by just doing everything lightly and then we can darker, darken all the colors as we go along. This is indigo blue. Indigo blue is BC901. Darken the clouds at the bottom and the line where clouds normally form. Slightly higher like atmospherically wise. Then the horizon. And I like a darkened corner. You can always add stars if you like. It shines through in between the clouds. And here you can fill up the, with a nice amount of colour. 
medium to high pressure. I colour all over the place. Do lots of layering with lots of colours. You'll see me take different pencils the whole time. Just fill up the darker corner. Go in between with the clouds so that you can create nice shading on where the moon light catches the cloud. With the white, you give the moon a little bit of shape. It's always lighter at the top, or mostly. And shade it as you would do a normal ball. really hard on the one side and then just lighter pressure towards the outside. I darken the rim on the outside of the circle at the bottom to create the glow. And first we do it with white and later we will add some eggshell. Give some texture to your white cloud that's just in front of the moon. Again, it doesn't need to be too precise. Just a basic shape. And I'm just bringing in some highlights on the clouds at the bottom and on the thin ones at the top. Now I'll use eggshell BC140 and widen the glow. You can make it as wide or as narrow as you want to. This is just a guideline. You can play around on your own page. Doesn't have to be exactly. The same width than what I'm doing here. slightly over the cloud. The next color uh, is light selenium blue. Cerulean. Okay, just do some shading. Cover part of the eggshell and go into the indigo blue, just under the white lines. Now I've taken the sky blue light BC1086 
just to go over the edges where the moonlight will catch her headgear but also so that you don't lose your lines while you do the background. I normally don't color the background first, I normally do the objects first. But lots of people do the background first. Uh, it's all up to you really. Uh, we all have different, different styles of coloring. As long as the pictures comes out nice. I've just outlined the theory, the top where we're working. You'll take the sky blue light and just do some shading. Go over all the colors. See, I'm going over the eggshell and over the cerulean blue that we've just added with a medium pressure, not too hard so that they can all lay on top of each other. taken the peacock blue just to brighten the colors a bit and I'll do some other color overlays just to give it a little bit more depth I'll turn it down just now so it don't get scared I think it's going to be too bright in between the clouds. And don't be scared of making mistakes. You just cover it with another layer. Either go lighter or darker. I'll show you a little later. See, for example, I've darkened a stripe. I made a stripe and now the halo around the moon it's not round. Just take your blue light, sky blue light, and just lighten it again. Go around the glow of the moon. See, it's nothing serious. You can just really have fun. And relax while doing it. Carry on doing your shading. Try and blend as much as possible. Don't need to worry about it too much. Just get the light colors in there and on the clouds. a little bit of little see-through clouds in between. It looks a bit all over the place but it will come together. Now we take the Mediterranean blue now you see the colors have given a really bright blue. bottom of the clouds
You can't have it in the cabin completely. I'm talking it just now. Indicably, dark in the corner again. I just did lots and lots of layers. So don't worry if the page don't close all the small little gaps immediately. After we're done, you'll see that you don't really need a blender or anything. It will all come together. Go dark around the clouds so that you can get the sh basic shape. And I'll rework the shading and the lights and the darks of the shape a little later. And you can see where the moonlight is catching the clouds. Just on the top of this. You can also give me some suggestions for different backgrounds that you would like to see covered. And then we can always do some more stringing on those. I will be doing three different ones for each page that I form. This is the light sky. I was thinking maybe something like a sunset on the one and some bouquet between the leaves of the Tasha page. And you can really apply a lot of pressure in the corner just to get it nice and dark and around the head piece so that you can see the glow that I've well not the glow, the moonlight that's catching it. I'm really darkening the one side now. Now we need to work on the atmosphere just before the clouds, and it normally goes from white right above the mountains to slightly darker so I take the sky light sky blue light BC1086 again just give it a nice light edge above the mountain and then we take the Mediterranean blue
and just lightly go over everything, the whole area. And now I've taken the periwinkle just to like darken it slightly under the clouds. Just go medium to light pressure, not too hard. Carry on just above the clouds. This looks getting really mottled, but it will all flatten as we layer some more layers and put some more layers. Go lightly over the glow of the moon on the edges, and again darken above the clouds. See, I wanted to stand out a bit, so I'm darkening in between the headgear. See the mottle is going away. Just keep on layering. <laughs> I'm going slightly over the white of the bottom cloud, just on the edge. underneath the clouds onto the cloud so it can create some depth and then over the lightest bit of that corner because it's further away from the moon you still need to see it but it won't be white Just do some more shading over the dark bits, just to turn down the brightness. Now I'm going to use the cool grey, cool grey, or oh, slate grey, sorry, slate grey, just to turn down how bright the blue is go with a light layer of grey over the blue area. To make it a little bit more subdued. Because I don't want it to be too bright, I want the fairy to stand out more. So it must just be a soft grey. Go over your white cloud that's slightly in front of the moon. You can also add some craters. I'm just doing a couple of dots in the crater here. And 
Oh, great shading at the bottom. It will look a bit too drastic between the eggshell and the grey, but we'll turn it down now with the sky blue light. And just shade it in, lighten the greys, soften the lines. It's a little bit of blue, so I've taken the Mediterranean blue. Just a little bit at the bottom of the mirror. And we're lighting it just now again. Just need a little bit of blue. That's a bit grey. Then take your white and just go over the blue. You'll see it softens up completely. And I'd like to do a little bit more white on the outer rim of the moon at the bottom and over the glow, the eggshell, to create more glow of the moon. really go hard at the top because we want to have it really white. We'll go over the blue that we did with earlier, soften it. And on the edge of the cloud. I think it needs a little bit more green, so I've taken a little bit of periwinkle. to sharpen it a little bit. And the sky blue light again.
girls in the class. Okay. I know it seems like it's getting more uneven with the colours, but as soon as you add the darker colours, you'll see it goes together again. This one is the peacock again. And these between the two clouds just to enhance, make it a little bit darker so that they can stand out more. Then in with the more indigo. Now we have to give some definition to and shape to the cloud. You can go really dark, you can even put a little bit of black in if you'd like. Or more of the 90% cool grey in the corner. You can just experiment and I would love to see what you've done with your pages. That's the number of on the group color matrix. And then we can see. Dark in the bottom of the cloud. And here on the corner, now you can really press hard, the pencil will allow you. My dog is sleeping on the couch next to me. So I'm moving around. At least he's quiet. He's not barking or anything. Well, not yet. Now I'm taking the light cerulean blue.
Yes, it's really moving. You're probably not going to see the shading exactly because of the angle of the camera. And that's in lines. I'm going to try and get a smooth transition between colors. to the moonlight glow on the water as it falls on the water around you as well. Just after we've done all the backgrounds. I sure hope you guys will join me again. It can only go better. Just a little bit nervous. A little bit more structure to the cloud. Shading the right bits. Just giving it a little bit more shape. And now just to soften the line where the cloud starts. Just sharpening my pencil quickly. I'm going to go over with sky light blue or sky blue lights again. Okay. A little bit more definition on the clouds and do some more shading to get the transitions as you like it. And over the place you will thread it from the loom. is going really lightly over the curve.
extend your clouds slightly. And don't worry if you make a mistake, you can fix it. Now a little bit more definition. See, I'm highlighting the outer bits. Just slightly. So it doesn't look like a flat line. And then the side. Carry on shading with the light. Sky blue light. Carry on shading. slightly over the next shell glue and run the head gap. Over the clouds to soften them and over the action. Take the eggshell again and just darken the gummy slightly to shade it in just around the moon.
want to flat it and you can widen a little bit or you can make it narrow and make it a more dark gleam for what this Rex guy. It's all up to you really. I'm shading it in a little bit more with the sky blue matte. Just to even a bit low. Now we're going to work on the clouds. This one is the cerulean blue. Light cerulean blue. And you can change the shape the whole time by playing with the lights and darks. I really would like you guys to experiment. available in the live chats. I know they talk a lot in the video itself. Soften the dark lines around the clouds just slightly. And don't worry if you go too far, then you can always come back with the lighter color and give it more definition. Or you can do flat color covering everything. I'm just showing you in case you make a mistake. It's not the end of the world. Slightly more shading the bottom of the cloud. Indigo blue. So you could just bring back the darks, the definitions back immediately. You can do fun definition clouds, bigger shapes. Mine's just medium. It 
slightly darken at the bottom, a little bit more than what we had. I would really like this part to be really dark and I would like to add some stars once they are just done. So I'm just bringing a little bit more indigo blue. And then darken slightly on the light side of the page. So the definition can pop through a bit more. Slightly darker around the hip case so it can stand, so stand out more. And so that you can really see the glow on the hip gear. Just darkening it slightly, slightly more, so that we can move back a bit to the winter background, and then we can highlight it again. That's with the, the sky blue light, so that we can get real nice definition on the clouds. And if you come to light, then you can always just add the more indigo and just reshape it again. It's really just finishing it up. On both sides, I would like to just slightly make the difference between the light and dark. And also the light is lightening it a bit to be really... The light is really in blue. So that you really get that glow. On the mountains. Indigo blue again. You see, I play around with the different colors the whole time until you're happy with it. So this is just a guideline. I would like you to experiment. Color your background so that you can play around and see it's not that difficult. Right, everybody's afraid of the background. 
こが全部取れてたんですよ Try not to create the wings like I did. Now I'm going with slate grey. Slightly over, sorry, not the slate grey, but 70% cool grey. Slightly over everything just to create mood so it's not too blue. So now I'd like the cloud to stand out more as well. The sun's coming up now, so the camera is a little bit overexposed. But I'll show you just now. A little bit more indigo blue, just on the edge. This one is slight grey. I want more grey tones for this image, but it's all up to you. You can keep it in blues if you want. Just rework the light a bit above the mountain. Put the sky blue light. Just a little bit more. Now we just need to darken the mountain. 
and how to move your stem line to the center curve grain PC 1067 and my pencil keeps on breaking need to sharpen it again and there we go And you just make one flat color. Fill up the space until it's dark enough. Now, if you would like to add in some lighter thinning in your C3 flowers, you can. Yeah, so if you want to add a flower to, for example, here, you just go with your light blue. You can create a shape you like. Right there. And soften this one. Just a little bit. Soften the dark line by just going over it with white and shading this sky blue light in by just lightening it a bit. I just use the light and do the finishing touches on the smaller plants, lighten the slightly at the top, I highlight the darker bits of the cloud and put in some light. See now you can see the moon moonlight falling on the clouds more clear. More clearly. And if you want to add cloud, you can also just take white, press medium hard, and you can add another one if you'd like. By just going over the dark area, dark flat area. For another one, same angle. But say for example you decide not to have the cloud, it's very easy just to take it away again. 
Cerulean Lee Lot, go over it to darken it, and then you want sky light blue over that. And we want just a light cool grey. 70% cool grey. You see, so there's no real mistakes. You can always play around and fix it. I'm just shading it in a bit with the sky blue light. And there we go. It's almost gone. Now the moon just needs a little bit more light to really make it stand out. You can go around the craters and walk just slightly over them. You can always go back and rework them a bit if you want them darker. I'm just blending with white over the whole moon at the moment. And then just go over your craters that you put there earlier. Make them stand out more. See, so you can really just play around. And a little bit more blue. A little bit more white. Seems like that's it. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. If there's any questions, feel free to ask them in the live chat. Thank you so much.